All right, guys, this is a video review of Active Notification and the Always Listening app for the Nexus 5 and the Nexus 4. So let me just show you on the Nexus 4. I am using on the Nexus 4, where is it? Open Mic. Open Mic and where is it? Dynamic Notifications. All right, so that's what I'm using on the Nexus 4. Now on the Nexus 5, I am using dynamic notification, same as the Nexus 4, but I'm using OK Google Now Beta. All right, you see it works. OK Google Now Beta, that's what I'm using on the Nexus 5. Now, open mic seems to interfere with dynamic notifications. So the Nexus 4, I put out a video that the always listening was working great without using dynamic notification. So if you want one or the other, they'll work well. Now, okay, for example, always listening. Okay, Google, what is the tallest building in America? One World Trade Center is one guess based on results below. All right, as you can see, the Nexus 4, since I have dynamic notifications on, is not working. So, um, you may want to try that Okay, Google Now beta on the Nexus 4. So now let's take a look at dynamic notifications on both devices. So I'm going to text myself. Okay, again, test. Phone vibrated. Um, this message here is always is always telling me that this the phone is always listening, but you can see here, active display is working great. You can see the the name of the person, the time that they text, and so forth. You can also press down here to see past messages or messages from WhatsApp, messages from BBM shows up as well but your most recent will come up in the middle so let me text the nexus 4 let me text the next the nexus 4 so you can see dynamic notifications working well on the nexus 4 as well all right testing again All right, and you can see it's working here as well, you know, and the thing is you ain't shut off the app by just touching and looking and down here, down here you can see WhatsApp and mail and if you touch down here, you'll see a preview as, of, of those as well. So the dynamic notification app is working really good um battery life okay you guys are going to ask about battery life so far in my testing the battery life i normally average 12 to 13 hours i definitely go 12 hours i use my is this is not when i'm going to sleep i get 12 hours i am up i am at work so you're talking about the phone is fully charged 10 p.m i get home eight nine o'clock in the morning and by the time I put my phone in the charger, it's 10, 11 o'clock. But what I found is I have to charge up to an hour to almost two hours earlier. So I'm losing about, on the average, an hour to an hour and a half of time using the Nexus 5. Now with the Nexus 4, I've been un unable to really um, test that, but I assume... I normally would average with the Nexus 4 back in the day, 
about nine hours. So now maybe maybe it will be less. So I'll say about an hour and a half you're giving up just to have this these two apps working together. Let's see it again. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. All right. It's working. So it gave me something on YouTube. So it works. You may have to say it twice. Let's do it again. Okay, Google. What's the weather like? It's 38 degrees and partly cloudy in Brooklyn. Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. It works. On, the always listening works on the Nexus 4. It does work. It says, unfortunately, open mic has stopped. Let me try it again. Maybe the owner of open mic might have to uh, um, see how it works with dynamic notifications. So let me try it again. Okay, Google. What's the weather outside? It's 38 degrees and partly cloudy in Brooklyn. All right, guys. So it works. You just have to play with it. Let me give the Nexus 4 a fair shot. Let me um text the Nexus 4. And let's see. You see dynamic notification came on see the preview now let me see if okay Google hey I'm proven wrong okay Google okay Google Let me give it time. Let me give it time. Okay, Google. Hey, it's working. So, not to knock it. It's working on both devices. You may have to play with it from time to time. Like I had to. I'm using the same Wi-Fi on both devices. Just that I'm using open mic on the Nexus 4 and I'm using OK Google Now beta on the Nexus 5. And you see the phones are very responsive. For instance, I'm going to give an example. Let me do this again. OK Google. OK Google. All right, so you can see it's working. Now, over here, you can see that it's not working, but a lot of people have that with the 4.4 update. But if you put on open mic or OK Google Now Beta, it'll work. You'll have that listening feature on your phone and you'll have it when the screen is off it works about 80 percent of the time but dynamic notifications once you get a hang of the settings it will work correctly so like subscribe see you guys in the next video comment i want to hear your comments sorry if the video didn't go as smooth but hey we're working with um devices that don't cooperate so um, this is and this is my third time trying to get this video perfect. So this might be the one I put out. So see you guys in the next video. I hope this satisfied a lot of people. The devs work hard to get these apps going and I don't want to mislead anyone and make them look bad. So it works pretty well. It's the fact getting them to work together was a little bit of a challenge with the settings, but they work well. See you guys next video.